young parliamentarian. I think you, when you started uh, your term, you were the youngest serving right. Right. person in the parliament. Uh, Iraq is uniquely uh, situated in the young populations. 50% of Iraqis or so are under the age of 19. 40% right. under the age of 14. Uh, that is a, uh, a, a population that can be a huge burden on a state, but also if the right policies are done um, by the state, it can be a great opportunity right. because change, reform, all of that, you can start and you can influence uh, this population easily because they are in the formation or formative period. Yet. Uh, you know, the, the one minister that has not been seated yet is the Minister of Education. Education. Right. That's the one who is really uh, having 50% of Iraqis under their auspices, and the other 50% are parents, so they have to right. do some business with, with him or her. Uh, and also, it is the last shot for Iraq for now to get a female on the cabinet because it's right. an all-male uh, cabinet. So what's up with that, as uh, Seinfeld says? <laughs> Why are you really so reluctant in, in taking? Well, that's uh, the, the Ministry of Education and uh, candidates we proposed, a couple of them were refused. Uh, not because they are females, actually. Uh, it's because they are, they are still have certain ministries uh, dedicated to certain groups. Uh, in terms of representation, I mean, uh, it's, uh, but that's the first time that we are able to refuse couple, uh, you know, candidates, even for Ministry of Interior. Mm -hmm. We were able to, yes. to do that. That's, that's maybe some people see it as a uh, hinder to the uh, government uh, executive branch, but that's also, it shows the, the, the powerful uh, uh, parliament, which we have the, the, this constitutional power that we can stop whoever we want if they we, uh, we think that person is not, you know, uh, suitable to that position. Uh, I think it was related to some of the the groups that they are supposed to uh, uh, nominate uh, the person, and they keep nominating people that they have some issues with uh, being Baptist, former Baptist, uh, or families, people that they have some families being uh, high profile in, the, in ISIS. Uh, so I think we don't need to have uh, to vote for somebody for the sake of just voting. We need to have somebody who is clearly really ready for that position. Uh, I have uh, I have voted only to the prime minister, nobody else. Uh, we just wanted to get her to form. I am not responsible for the other ministries, which if I will hold them accountable, but I didn't vote for them uh, based on uh, my observations. But the Minister of Education, I want to have, because it's a female, I want to support it if we find it it's a suitable candidate for that position. So you are telling us that 